so hello everyone welcome to this new video of my cat so in our last two videos we have discussed about some commands of our modification panel so in this video i will discuss some more commands of this panel and if you have not watched our previous videos then you can go to the i button or in the description there you can find the links of our previous videos so watch the video till the end of this to get the detailed tutorial of that commands so in this video the first command i will explain is the explode command so in your previous videos we have discussed up to this uh, blend curve commands so in this video i will discuss first the explode command so using explode command you can make different objects from the different parts of any polyline or any dimension or any other objects so first we will draw a polyline now i will draw one arc and then press enter now you can see it's our polyline now if i want to activate the explode command i can select explode from here in the modify panel or i can type x in the command line x is the shortcut for explode and then press enter now in the command line you can see that our explode command is activated now it will ask to specify the object i want to explode so i want to explode this polyline so i will select this polyline by left clicking on that and then press enter now if i select any part of that polyline you can see this part became a separate objects so this is how we use our explode command now the next command of our modify panel is stretch using the stretch command we can stretch any of the object on your worksheet without changing the scale of some parts of that objects so let's say i first draw some rectangle so here it is two rectangle now i'll first activate the stretch command to activate stretch command i can select stretch from the modification panel or in the command line i can type s t r e t c h and then press enter now it will ask to specify the objects so now let's say i don't want to change the scale of this side of my rectangles so i'll select the other parts of my drawings except this vertical line so now first i'll left click on this part and move my cursor over that objects such that the selection window doesn't cover that vertical line now i'll left click again and then press enter now it will ask to specify the base point the base point is that point using which we will stretch our objects now let's say this middle point of that side i will specify as base point so to specify i will just left click on that part now you can see i can stretch my objects but that vertical line which i was not selected while selecting the other parts that is remain in its position but i can change the other parts of my drawing so if i want to place that base point in any other place i have to just specify that point by left clicking so i'll select this point as my final point by left clicking and you can see this vertical line remains in its position but the other parts which i have selected during the selection process is now in its final position now the next command of our modify panel is scale so using scale command i can change the size of my objects on the worksheet so let's draw some objects on that worksheet so here one rectangle here is one circle and that is one line now if i want to change the size of my objects then first i will activate the scale command so to activate that i can select scale from here or in the command line i can type s c a 
L E and then press enter. Now you can see in the command line that our scale command is activated. So now it will ask to specify that objects of which I want to change the size. So I will left click on this part and drag the mouse over the objects such that the selection window will cover my required objects. Now here you can see that three objects are found and then I will press enter. Now it will ask to specify the base point. So in this case the base point is that specified point that remains in its position but other points can vary its position. So I will select this point as my base point. So to select that I will just left click on this point. Now it will ask to specify the scale factor means if I want to change any of length to its double or any other scale factor then I can put the scale factor here. Let's say I want to double every length of my objects then I can put 2 as the scale factor and then press enter. Now you can see every length of that objects what I have selected is now doubled. Now I will activate scale command again. So to activate that I will left click on the scale option from the modify panel and then select the all objects, press enter, specify the base point by left clicking on this point and now if I press the down arrow from my keyboard you can see two options are available copy and reference. Now I will select reference from here and in this case it will ask to specify the reference line or the reference length. In this case I can specify the length of that side so that the other objects can also scale them accordingly. Now I will specify this line as my reference line so to specify that I will just left click on the ends of that line I will left click on this point and another is this point. Now you can see I can change the length of that side and the another parts or the another objects are scaled them accordingly. Now if I enter 20 as my new length of that side and then press enter. Now you can see this side what I have selected as the reference is scaled up and the other parts also is scaled them accordingly. Now I am skipping the array command. On this array command I will make a separate video. So first I will explain this offset command. So using this offset command we can draw any concentric circle or we can make any concentric objects. Now let's say this is our one rectangle and this is one ellipse and this is one circle. Now if I want to draw a concentric rectangle it's maybe on the outside of that rectangle or maybe inside then we can use the offset command. To activate offset command we can select offset from here. Here you can see it's offset and in the command line you can type OFF SET and then press enter. Now in the command line you can see that offset command is activated. Now it will ask to specify the offset distance. Now I will enter 10 as my offset distance means the distance between two concentric objects will be 10 unit. Now I have entered 10 and then press enter. Now it will ask to specify the objects I want to make offset. I will select this rectangle as my object. Now I have to click on that side where I want to make that objects or concentric objects. Now if I want to make offset of that rectangle outside of that rectangle then I will click outside or if I want to make uh, another rectangle or in this inside of that rectangle then I will cl left click on inside. Now I will left click outside of that rectangle. Now you can see one another concentric rectangle is created. Now we will close the offset command to close that I can press escape from the keyboard or I can right click on the screen and from here I can select cancel. Now I will activate 
the offset command again so in this time i will select offset from here and now i will enter 8 as my offset distance and then press enter now i will select this circle as my object and now if i press the down arrow you can see three options are there undo multiple and exit now if i want to make more than one number of offsets then we can select multiple now if i select any point outside of that circle and and repeat clicking then you can see concentric circles are created at a distance of 8 mm from each now to close the command i'll press escape and you can see a number of offsets of that circle is created this offset command can also be used for any ellipse or any polyline or any curve so i'll press enter and then select this ellipse and select any point on the outside of that ellipse you can see one concentric ellipse is also created and one main point is that every objects what we are creating using offset command are separate objects now i will explain the lengthen command so the lengthen command is in the extended part of the modify panel here it is so using this command we can change the length of any line or any arc so first i will draw a line so here it is my line and now i will activate lengthen command so to activate that i will type l e n in the command line l e n is the shortcut for lengthen command then i will press enter now i will press the down arrow and from here i will select the dynamic option so i will left click on dynamic now it will ask to specify that object now if i want to change the length of my line then i will select this line as my object and then you can see as i move my cursor then the length of that object is also changing now i will enter 100 as the length and then press enter now you can see our line is extended in that same direction of it now i will close the lengthen command now let's try lengthen command on any arc now i will draw an arc by three point method so if you have not watched the tutorials on arc so you can go to the videos i will provide the links in the description so now let's activate the lengthen command so in this case i will activate lengthen from here and now i will press the down arrow and select dynamic again and then select this arc as my objects now you can see i can change the length of my arc now i will enter 50 as the length and then press enter now you can see our arc now you can see the length of our arc is now extended now i'll now i'll close the lengthen command so you can also use lengthen command by selecting that line or object now i will place my cursor over the last grip or any grip at the end and you can see now two options are available stretch and lengthen from here i can also select the lengthen option now i will select lengthen by left clicking on that and you can see you can apply the lengthen command from here also so in this case i will enter 40 as my length and then press enter now you can see the line is now extended now let's apply lengthen for this arc also i will place my cursor at the end grip select lengthen command and you can see in this case also you can change the length of your arc now i'll specify 40 as my length and then press enter so you can see the length of our arc become 40 so in this way we can use the lengthen command now the next command i will explain is the align command so using align command you can 
align any of your object in your required direction so let's say this is one rectangle and this is another line so now if i want to align this side of my rectangle to that line then i will activate the align command so the align command is in the extended part of that modify panel so here it is the align command so you can select it from here or you can type a l i g n in the command line and then press enter now you can see the align command is activated now i will first select that object i want to align means in this case i will select that rectangle and then press enter now first it will ask to specify the source object means if i want to move this point to this end of my line then first i'll select this point by left clicking and then select this point now if i want to move this point to the end of this line then i'll first left click on this and then left click on this point again now i'll press enter and now it will ask to specify that if i want to scale the objects or not means if i select yes then this side will be having same length as this line and if i select no then the original shape of this line will remain same so first i'll select yes so you can see the length of that side is now as the same of that line so let's undo and i will activate the align command again in this case i will select align from here and select that object press enter then select this point then select this point now i'll select this point and then this point then press enter and in this case i'll select no now you can see that shape of the rectangle is remain same and the alignment is same as that of the line so thank you everyone for watching this video so if you have not watched our previous videos on 2d drawing tools and modifying tools then you can go to this i button here and you can select that videos or in the description box i will provide the links so thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel for this type of autocad videos and tutorials